Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film a kind of celebrity impersonator look of BB Reba, I think is how you say her name. I was just watching music videos the other day and No Broken Hearts came on, um, which is her song with Nicki Minaj. I was like, oh my god, this girl's makeup slays. Slay. She has like eight different looks in it and all of them are so on point. It's a really short part, so I couldn't get a good picture of it really, like a good screenshot. So these are kind of some weird pictures, but this was just my favorite, kind of most practical look, I think. We've got the winged eyeliner, we've got kind of this gold bronzy eyeshadow, we've got a nice glowy summery look, um, pinky cheeks and lips, and dramatic brows. So gorgeous, she totally pulls it off. It's like dramatic and glam. Needless to say, I am now at least a BB makeup fan. Stay tuned and I will show you how I got her look on my face. <laughs> to start off this look, I'm obviously going to be priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. To start the eye look, I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in black. I'm just going to line my waterline with this and then I'm going to do eyeshadow and then I'm going to do her cat eye look so For her glowy coppery eyeshadow, I'm going to start with just a nude base. I'm using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and this color Nudie to apply that, I'm using the Shaney E17 Eyeshadow Buffer Brush. And I'm going to apply that color all over my lid, my crease, and up to my brow bone. For the crease, I'm going to be taking that same palette and using the color Honey Butter. It's kind of this just nice peachy warm. And I will be applying that with a crease shadow brush number 73 from Sephora. I'm using the Sephora Single Shadow. Um, it's number 81 and the shade is called, wait for it, Sunday Brunch. I love that name. I just want to take that color and densely apply it to the lid only. For the kind of bronzy cut crease look she has, I'm going to take again my natural matte palette and I'm using this kind of burnt orangey brown color right here. It's called Chocolate Cookie. I'm actually using a flat concealer brush. It's the Shaney F70 so I get a nice fine line on my crease and I can just blend it out with the gold. And then to kind of lighten up and highlight the look, I am going to take the Naked Cosmetics in Sierra Nevada. I'm going to use the Bugatti eyeshadow brush to lightly tap that color over the gold bronzy color. I don't want to cover up the color, I just want to add a little highlighted shimmer. <music> Lastly, I just want to kind of highlight um, the brows and also blend um, in between. So I'm going to take two different shades. The first one is Again, that natural matte palette in the shade Heaven here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that um, honey butter color and just use a blending brush to put it on this part of the brow. For the dramatic winged liner, I'm going to be taking my Sephora Long Lasting Eyeliner. Um, it's a liquid eyeliner with kind of a felt tip. And then I'm gonna be using my favorite method to apply winged liner, which is with tape. Um, you can see my last video uh, for kind of a full description on how I apply winged eyeliner with tape, but I'll show you here too. Take the piece of tape and apply it in a diagonal line from your lash line to your temple, and then take the winged eyeliner and just follow along the top of the tape. And just create a line as thick as you'd like. Like I said, hers is pretty dramatic and thick. So I'm just going to keep going over that until I have a nice smooth filled in line. I want to apply fake lashes. Hers are a bit dramatic and long but they're not too fluffy. I'm going to be using the Ardell Natural 116 Black. Before I apply I'm going to put on a few layers of mascara with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I use the Duo um, Glue in the color white to apply my lashes. 
I also just recently filmed a video on how to apply fake eyelashes so you can see my method on my channel page. For the eyebrows, hers are rather dark and dramatic. Um, it's a little bit more dramatic than I usually like to do with blondish hair, but we're gonna do it because baby did it and I think we can do it too. I'm just gonna start by combing these bad boys out. I'm going to be using um, a soft brown color. I'm going to be taking that and my eyebrow brush from Shaney. And I also have an eyebrow how-to video on my page so you can check out how I apply my brows. I'm using the same method as I do day-to-day um, -day, just with a darker color for this look. Never fear, we are not done with brows. I'm just gonna take my concealer and just define them with a I'm so ready to put some foundation on. I am gonna use my usual um, color correcting step. I don't know if BB did this or not, what her under eyes look like, but I use a kind of corally um, like lipstick to do um, some under eye coverage. So I'm gonna be using a little combo of two different shades of the L'Oreal True Match, mostly W6 with a little bit of W7. I'm going to take my beauty blender and pour, like I said, mostly W6 with a little drop of W7. Okay, so that wasn't coming out, so I just dabbed it on my hand and I'm just gonna spread it in there and kind of mix it. For my under eyes and my neck, um, I'm gonna be using actually a foundation brush to apply. did a whole lot of contouring, but she um, definitely has some highlight going on. So I'm gonna take my True Blend Fix Stick and contour nose and the forehead and the chin. I'm gonna set my under eye with the uh, Makeup Forever HD powder with my Beauty Blender. Like she did a little bronzing, so I'm gonna take my and sorry, this is just a sample size, um, but it's the Bare Skin Sheer Sun um, from Bare Minerals, and I'm just gonna apply it directly to a bronzer buffer brush. I'm gonna apply this to my cheekbones and around the frame of my face. that with a very pinky blush um, that she's sporting. So I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk in the color Flamingo. It's another really good name. To add a little more of a glow, of course, we're going to be going in with a highlighter. This is the Tarte Skin Twinkle. I start to use this metal color, which is called Filtered Light. So it's a highlighter, um, kind of like a yellowy color without any shimmer. So this is one that you want to use more for places you don't want to shimmer. <laughs> I don't know, like your nose, forehead, where I'm going to use it. You'll see, you'll see. So with some product on the brush, I'm just gonna apply that in an inverted triangle shape in between my eyebrows and my forehead and down the center of my nose. And also right above my cupid's bow and on the middle of my chin. And then I take a fan brush and I am gonna use a shimmery color now for my cheeks. And finally, for the lips, she's got kind of a bright pink nude color. Woohoo! My favorite. I think this is probably why I like the look so much. I think the perfect um, lip color for this look is one of my all-time favorites, and that is the Too Faced Melted in the color Nude. I'm not using a lip liner with this look because, honestly, lips 
this product is so amazing, it doesn't really even need it. With my lips, I do the same thing I do with my brows. So just kind of clean them up and define them. So I'm gonna take my concealer and go all the way around. First though, I'm just gonna kiss off <laughs> any extra product. <laughs> so nice. To blend, I just use the foundation brush I used earlier without any product on it and just go around the lips. It looks like she has kind of more of like glossy look, so I'm gonna be going over it with um, this Buxom Full Body Lip Gloss. Booyah! Woo! All sorts of fun names today. I like the face she's making in the photo. Oh, okay, I look hideous doing it. <laughs> 